like way back in the day, like had thought bubbles, right. and now they don't really have thought bubbles anymore. Right. This is that. All their uh, thought bubbles are long, exposi- long, obvious exposition. It's almost like they did it in case you walked away for a minute, came back, and they're like, oh, no, he used all his power after the first punch. And, then, that, 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 that. and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So if I miss something, I'll just come back. Someone will explain it to me in the show. <laughs> Welcome to the Giga Hub Weekly Show. Oh, uh, is that the intro? Are we starting? That's the intro. <laughs> nice. Dope. Um, I am one of three. Adam Kren. One of three what? Hosts. Hosts. <laughs> I am host two of three, Luis De La Torre. I am host three of three, Daikaiji Tony. Right. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what if. What if. But two but, things before but we we're start. not going to speculate on anything. We're actually talking about the Disney show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Based on the old comic. Yeah. Yes. What, I, what if I Specifically, I went to... the Doctor Strange oh, episode. Okay. I, so I misunderstood the topic. I was what? ready to talk about what if I went to medical school. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, anyway what could have been <laughs> anyway anywho <laughs> mm. uh yeah we're gonna be talking about what if but before we get to that let's talk about our wonderful sponsor cosmic comics the jewel of the mojave desert there you go show it off keep showing it off Vanna White. there we go oh be amazed <laughs> <Again, that was laughs> there, there we go oh, yeah, be yeah. amazed there you go we have everything that your nerdy heart desires right. from comics to t-shirts and uh, I was going to say video games. We don't have video games here. No. Uh, have action figures, pops, key ch- chains and lanyards. Graphic novels, s- Dungeons and Dragons Statues, figures, D&D stuff. Yeah, D&D all rules, manner of D&D, yeah. D&D stuff. Posters. Evil hat games. You can uh, come meet Tony. You can yes. come meet Tony. Yeah. He's host three of three, but he's one of three in our hearts. That's right. Yes. Number one. Number one, buddy. Um, just don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, just don't don't wow. touch him. He does not like to be touched. Um, yeah, you can come on down. Let's show him some of the stuff that they have to offer around these parts. So you guys know Cosmic Comics has comics and graphic novels and things like that. I would assume so, yeah. But do you know Cosmic Comics also has exclusives? Ooh. This may look that? like an Umbrella Academy hardcover, and it is. Mm-hmm. Of the first But it's exclusive. Trade. There's only one of these per store if you've ordered a certain amount. So this is extremely limited. Ooh. This is the first one, Apocalypse Suite, mm-hmm. and it is extremely limited. It's the only one we have. Well, it's gone now, because I'm totally kidding. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then we also have, yeah, I know, Dark Knight's Death Metal's been out a while, but did you know they came out with a record and singles? What songs are on that? Uh, Bad Luck, featuring Play That Boy's A by Denzel Curry. I don't know if I said that right. And... <laughs> anything, anything by Gray Days. I can go for some curry right now. I can go for some curry too. Yeah, me too. All right, cool. exclusive. I, sh- I want to buy them just to listen to those records. Right, right. I want to. I'm curious as to what's on them. All right, Luis. It doesn't sound like metal. Luis, I want to show first. off something that's special. Um, we do have a lot of back issues here. You we might do. have seen that. You can probably see them behind Adam at yep. the moment there. Yep. And he, for my birthday, got me a, a number one issue of one of my favorite uh, X Men. Or one of my favorite mutants, and he got me a Dazzler number one. Nice. Uh, there are from uh, here in the store. From here in the store, I absolutely love it. But if you're not a fan of Dazzler, first of all, go to yes. yeah, go to hell. Uh, but wh- uh, whoa, <laughs> we okay? We having technical uh, difficulties? It seems to still be recording. Go all ahead. All right, cool. Wow, that was uh, weird. Yeah, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. um, and two, you know. It, if you don't like Dazzler, there's so many other comics that we have here in our back issues. We have so many back issues. Can you see the back issues behind? As I, uh, yes, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, there's on, tables full on. and drawers full of back issues that you can enjoy. I see X Men. I see two different covers for Spider Man issue number three hundred. I, I see Jugheads. Right. I see Cull the Conqueror. There's all kinds of stuff here right. uh, for back issues. So if you're looking for a specific issue, it may be here. Come on down and. Right. You'll not find a better place to hang out and look for your favorite comic. Absolutely. What do you got to show, Tony? What do you got, Tony? Got this big All My Funko Pop. Ooh. Oh, my. Look at that sucker. That's yeah. That's big. That was big. Dude, real big. Look at that. Mm. I, I haven't mm. watched that show, but yeah, I've, I've seen like enough memes and like videos it's, it's, to it's, know who that is. It's a decent superhero anime. It's basically Sky High, the anime. <laughs> oh, okay. If, if anyone remembers what Sky High is. I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually decent. Mm-hmm. Sometimes oh Disney God. does a decent movie. Sometimes, mostly, mostly because Kurt Russell and Bruce Campbell are both in it. Yes, Bruce Campbell's in it. Yes, he's yeah. the bus driver. Oh, that's right. I that's thought he right. was a gym coach. 
Oh, no, yeah, he was the, he's the coach. That's right. He's yeah. in it. I yeah, do yeah. remember him now. Yeah. Okay. It's been a while. Anyway, come on down. Uh, we have all this stuff and more. So feel free to, to come down, look around, spend some money, talk to Tony. He loves it when you talk his ear off about stuff he doesn't care about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you least like to hear about? Uh, hmm, hmm. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> what, what was the worst thing someone has said to me in the store? <laughs> no, actually, no, I'll cut that. No, no, no. Yeah, this this is not what I mean, Tony. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 all right. No, no. Uh, I'll, I'll cut off. That's not what I mean. I meant, like, <laughs> I mean, like, what topic would people, like, well, talk your ear off? Yeah, because I've heard, overheard. The umbrella s- covers? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spawn number ones? Mm-hmm. And what they think they're we, worth? We, we have a spawn number one over there. Oh, 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 oh wait, you mean. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got some spawn number ones here, ready to I trade in the store. I'll take five hundred for them right now. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that uh, <laughs> that does happen a lot. <laughs> yes, it's a lot. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll find out what makes Tony uh, take care in a second, and then you can talk wow. to him about it. What? I'm just saying, he loves <laughs> to talk to people. Um, no, you're great. Uh, everyone <laughs> you're great. here, yeah, you're everyone's great. here is great. Everyone here is really knowledgeable. So yeah, come on down. Just don't talk their ear off, though. Um, we definitely all have specialities. For sure, but everyone here is knowledgeable enough about the stores. If you're looking for anything, they'll be able oh, to yeah. help you out. Absolutely. Yes. So come on down. Okay, now let's talk about Marvel's show on um, Disney, Disney Plus, Plus yeah. which is called Marvel What, what If. What If. Which what is if. based dot, on dot, dot, question mark. Question mark. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what it was. What, dot, dot, dot. Ellipses question, question mark. mark. Ellipses question mark. Um, yes. Which is based on a, uh, uh, an anthology series right. where they would ask what Keep if. Talking. They would ask what if questions uh, about different superheroes. Uh, this show is absolutely no different. Mm-hmm. Um, for, at the moment, there's only four episodes available on Disney Plus right now. Right, uh, and the one we're going to talk about specifically is the the newest one, the most recent one, which is the Doctor Strange. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hand? Is this what oh we were looking for? Yeah, you know, in retrospect, I really should have showed this off. Yeah, <laughs> we actually just got in the What If Omnibus. This is every issue from the original run. Of nice. what if from back in the oh no this is volume one so this is in every issue. Now keep in mind from that the seventies uh, eighties. Uh, if you don't already know, those episodes are not based on any actual comics. Correct. Yeah. That I know of, at least not yet. Mm-hmm. Um, they are wholly uh, original, probably more based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe Correct. than right. it would be on the comics. Correct. Which is which is okay. That's a cool idea. I would also would have liked it if they'd have thrown in some of the comic book ideas in there too. But I know that they're trying to sell to a specific audience. Yes. Um, I've, like I said, I've watched I've watched some of them already, uh, but we're going to talk about the Doctor Strange one, and right. then maybe we'll get into some of the other ones. First off, I, I do want to say that a lot of these do have voice acting from the actors right. who yes. were in the movie. So right. Benedict Cumberbatch is in this. Right. Rachel McAdams is in um, this. T- um, the Tilda voice, Swinton. Yeah, Tilda Swinton. She's, she's the ancient the, one. She's Tilda the Swinton. ancient one, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, that, that was, yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the things that I wanted to point out. Um Chadwick Boseman, who was in the the Black Panther episode, was in did voice T'Challa. Yeah, that, I should watch that one. That's the only one I haven't seen. Mm, okay. Well, I didn't see the last half of the first one either. Oh no! Oh, well, no. you didn't like it. I did not. Okay, so we'll talk about all that stuff in, in just no. a second. Um, so let's start off with with this specific episode. Right. Uh, if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Quick synopsis. So as we all know in the movie, if you've watched it, or even in the in the comic books as well, uh, he loses the use of his hands, or at least the finer motor the f- functions yeah. in his hands, uh, and he can no longer be a surgeon. Yeah, he's a neurosurgeon. I yeah, think, I think. and he goes to um, was I want to say Namda Parbat, but I know that's DC. Yeah. Um, but Some, somewhere in the he east. goes somewhere in the Himalayas, <laughs> the far east. Yeah. yeah, and he starts to learn about magic and sorcery and stuff, and then through uh, some events becomes the Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange. Right. Uh, in this one, though, it's a little different. Instead of losing the the finer motor function in his hands, right. he loses the uh, the woman that he is in love with in a car right. accident. Uh, he can't bring her back even with the time stone because she is her death is a fixed moment in time, at least in this episode. Yep. So no matter what he does. Even after absorbing evil entities, dying, yeah. she just keeps dying, and he kind of messes everything up. And then the ending is he just sort of wipes out his own universe. Yep. Spoilers. Yeah. yeah, and that well, yeah, 
and that perverted watcher saw the whole thing. <laughs> he did. He probably, watched. Probably got off on it. Who knows? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> He's kind of a weirdo, though, right? The watcher? Yeah, well, that's his thing. Yeah. Voyeurism. The, vo- <laughs> the, the voyeur. The voyeur. <laughs> 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 I like a company called The Voyeur. He loves it. When That'll he... be my comic book universe wa- version of the Watcher, the Voyeur. <laughs> yeah. He's always like this. Yeah, his origin story is like. His origin story is like. At first, I used to like to watch you do weird things. You know, you know the kind of things. And then I got bored. And then I got really enthralled in watching you do mundane things like your taxes. <laughs> the Voyeur. The, oh, the Voyeur. Uh, uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah. So the Watcher. Uh, is of course in every episode he is right. he is sort of our viewpoint into each Which one of these universes is tied to the original comic yeah mm-hmm. right um, but anyway yes so that is basically the rundown of the episode right so what do we want to get into first <laughs> we want to get into the good the bad uh, well or do we have the facts of life I I will say the that facts I, of life I gave up on what if in the first episode this the, I'm getting to a point. The what uh, if I'm gonna make this, a point to reiterate the one the what if is right. Peggy Carter becoming Captain America or right. Britain or whatever I don't know Captain could, Carter. You can't call her I, I think all they called her was Captain Carter okay. yeah and she had the Union Jack episode. instead of the Star but, right right um, um, and then Anthony actually Tony was telling me about this episode and I was like okay this sounds interesting way more interesting sure so that's probably well that's is the reason I watched it or wanted to watch it because um, well, yeah, <laughs> it did feel a lot more like a actual what if, like the original comic. It act the original comic asked more complicated questions, mm-hmm. and right. the, which first, I, the first couple episodes were not that, <laughs> which, which, which I, we'll get into later. I, all right, okay, yeah. no, continue. Um, so that's why I watched it. Um, what felt good about it? Uh, you know, the ending. <laughs> <laughs> when I, it ended, is I, there, I did, when it ended, or the actual no, ending? I, I liked that it didn't cop out on an ending. Mm, I yes. appreciated that. Um, it was a very grim ending, actually. Mm-hmm. It was, yep. the, yeah, you know, it was the idea that he started. Oppo- supposedly, he started looking for a way to cope with her death and bring her back, and he could never let that go. Mm. I did appreciate that. Um, mm-hmm. So that was good. Um, I liked that it asked a little more complicated questions. I think that's it for me. What about you guys? Are you, oh, now you're talking about the the. Um Excuse me, you're talking about the the, the Doctor Strange. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought you oh, were still on, I, on Captain Carter. I was Carter. jumping around too much. Uh, yeah, I thought you were still on Captain Carter. Okay. Doctor yes. Strange. Yes. So yeah, that I mean that that part of it is fine. Uh, I'm okay with it, especially knowing that this is this is a, a, an alternate universe. Right. So you know there might be an alternate universe where this happens, and yeah, you can't let her go. But uh, what, what do you think, Tony? I liked how there was another twist in the middle of it, like in the last episode, or well, in the last episode, the the other twist that that's more that's a uh, that's something that doesn't happen in the main MCU. Um, in the last episode, happened towards the end, but in here, the reveal is that like she's destined to die because it's not just Strange losing his heart; like um, it, it's the driving cause for him to do what he ends up doing because right. it could have been just him bring her back to life but no like since she is destined to die that like that's end up ends up becoming the driving force in the story right yeah her, and sadly her, her gets death a f- is the MacGuffin yeah I, I was gonna say and or, sadly dies a far worse death by the end than she did than she die in a car crash yeah, I feel true. like she died in a car crash pretty quick quick, quick she yeah. kind of just like melted away like yeah. You know, Thanos snap style kind of. Yeah. Um, Except slowly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, slower. She was clearly in pain. Seeing the person that she loved become <laughs> a monster, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, I do. I appreciate the Kirby crackles. You guys see the Kirby crackles? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that too. Cool. Um, that's that? the uh, the effect. You know what a Kirby crackle is, right? Oh, is the the circles? Yeah, the, like the little circle little, effect. Yeah. Yeah, the little energies or whatever. Yeah. The yeah. crackling energy. Oh, yeah, and I like evil Doctor Strange's design and his abilities. Like a purple cape and dark eyes. Okay, I could yeah. go with that. Looks pretty decent. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. It, it was it was very ho-hum. Um, honestly, I think it's because they're going off of Marvel uh, movie, uh, the right. Marvel movie universe instead of comic books. Like, comic right. books have so much more lore to them. Yeah, yeah. This is, like, Doctor Strange. You don't see enough of Doctor Strange and know enough of Doctor right. Strange to, to care 
I did feel that too. You know what I mean um, as to like what's going on. This just seemed like a TV episode of a cartoon. Yeah. Um, and not it was clearly anything substantial. It was clearly written by somebody who has a deeper affection for the character than exists in the MCU. Yeah. Which isn't entirely fair to people who only know him from the MCU. Which we'll get into. I don't want to get yeah. into the negatives just yet, but uh, I do like the art style. Um, I did like a lot of likes. There were some of the magical effects where they like kind of melted into each other or they did some weird effect to like cut to a different scene. I thought that was very cool. It, it, it struck me like a very like weird sort of 70s kind of aesthetic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, 60s or 70s. I don't know. I wasn't born in either of those eras, but you, you know what I mean? Like it was. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Right. Tony, you know what? I, back me up. <laughs> 60s and 70s. Um. Yeah, there you go. Sure, the the Batutsi, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, uh. Yeah, uh, the the performances were great. You know, Benedict Cumberbatch yeah. comes back as Doctor Strange. Rachel McAdams is in it. Uh, mm-hmm. Tilda Swinton's in it. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all well and good. Um, I think that's about all I could really say yeah. about. And the ending. I think the ending. Uh, there's a real bummer ending. It is a. Very down ending. Um, yeah. I can tell you right now. I, wow. <laughs> the th- I didn't watch the third episode yet. Right. But I did watch the first and second episode, and they seem to have a lot happier, if I remember correctly. a lot. Ha- I know the second one had a happier ending. I don't remember if the, the Captain Carter one had a happier I ending. Don't, yeah, uh, I don't okay, know. so one of the reasons it. why I didn't like the Captain Carter ending, it was basically a rehash of the first Avenger movie, except, oh, it's just, in the end, Peggy's Captain America now and presumably the rest of the MCU will play the same just right. with Peggy as Captain America. That's that's it. <laughs> Except she's like way more powerful. Yeah, and you get and you get a lot more, but you're a dame. Yeah. Despite her yeah. beating up Nazis at every turn. <laughs> like, some of the action sequences were cool. But a lot of the endings were like I, again, I didn't see the third episode, so I don't know how that one ends. But like the the, the Black Panther one and the Captain Carter one. Seem to have a lot happier endings. This had a very bummer ending. Oh yeah, very it's, it's very the most nihilistic. Dark of, yeah. yeah, he All of them. basically dark. destroyed his universe. Yeah, everything. Like, yeah, everything. everything. He annihilated. His honestly, he did a, worse than Thanos ever thought yes, of doing. It, yeah, only has a, honestly has a better ending than the third episode because the third yeah. episode I liked almost everything that was it was going for except for like the last one minute. I didn't mind that so much because it made sense with what had happened around it because. Well, spoilers. Pym wouldn't have known about Captain America. Um, Pym wouldn't have known him. Of, he probably would only be vaguely aware of Captain Marvel. Right. And even then, she was out in space. So right. that made sense. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the whole Hulk thing. Like, that didn't even need to happen. What, what Hulk <laughs> there thing? There was no reason when Hulk met his fate, I guess. That <laughs> I made no look, sense. I honestly well, like, That made it. no sense. That, like that, that brings me to the other... It, it actually would serve Hank better just to keep Hulk Hulk <laughs> and be hulky. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it didn't make any sense. That, so, so this is the other thing that, that sort of bugs me about this this series. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of a good thing, but at the same time, it's kind of a bad thing. Right. <clears throat> which is that a lot of these what-if episodes seem to be... There seem to be like fan fiction written by professional writers. Yes. That well, certainly that was the first episode. That's what turned me off. It was it was definitely well. You like, didn't watch you didn't watch the second episode, with, second episode with, with, yeah. with Black Panther as Star Lord. Second one, yeah. cool boy. Now, yeah. I I am Black Panther is one of my favorite Marvel heroes. Right. So, me watching it just as a fan, I'm like, oh my god, this is cool. And then like, there's that critical part of me that tells me what's good or bad, and I'm right. just like. This is very good. much fan <laughs> fiction. Like this is too well, good. Like it ended too well. Like I, yeah, at no point actually, did I. You watched it. Well, yeah, but like I just thought of it as a joke episode, which was a thing and whatever. But there, it does have a semi grim ending. Basically, um, the second episode. Yeah, second episode with the T'Challa one. Um, basically, ego meets um, he ego meets uh Peter Quill working at a Dairy Queen, and presumably the whole galaxy is. Saved by T'Challa, except for Earth. Earth is screwed. <laughs> that's the I, y- yes, yes, that's true. But by that yeah. point, by that point, I was like, at no point did I feel like T'Challa was in any danger or anything like that. Yeah. That was one of the things that bugged well, me. That like, was, this is very much like fan. That fiction. was the trouble with Captain Carter. It was very <laughs> fan fictiony, like very right. Which you know, again, like there's that sort of like pure fan side of me, which is like, oh, this is kind of a great idea. I love it. Yeah. And then there's that that more analytical side of me that's 
you know, once you cross over, you're like, yeah, you know what? This, uh, as cool as this kind of was, like, this isn't, this isn't that great. I don't <laughs> right. think it's very good. I think a lot of the, there's like no, at no point was I worried about what was going to happen. Like, you just, you just kind of knew everything was going to be okay because yeah. everything just kind of went to, went to Chala's way. Yep. You know what I mean? So, I mean, he talked Thanos out of not snapping his fingers somehow. And I have no idea how he would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you have to watch it. Yeah. I it's pretty think, crazy. I don't think I'll bother. Um, um, the this, Avengers episode was much better. Yes, the third episode was. Um, okay, I'll have to watch the and it. And it was, there was a lot of the things that happened where it's like, you know, and I had actually forgot what you told me. So I was like, what is, like, how did they, how, how would they have pulled that off? How would they, and then, when, of course, once I remembered, I was like, oh, right. Yeah. Tony told me. And that makes sense because he's the only one that could pull it off. Right. Yep. And it, yeah. But it did make sense. And it, it, the second, mm-hmm. the third one was a lot better. And I liked mm-hmm. how, okay, so I, I mentioned before, like, there was a nerd twist in the middle. Like, I like how it's not. Which episode ju- is this? The third episode. Okay. I like Avengers. how I like how the what if is not just what if the Avengers were being killed off. It was like Janet was a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who right. died, which motivated Hank Pym to become a Yellow Jacket. I right. thought that he was, was Yellow awesome. Jacket, yeah. I thought that was awesome. He was awesome. a very angry Yellow Jacket, too. Yeah. <laughs> Voiced by Michael Douglas. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, he was awesome. Oh, no, Michael. The Kirk Douglas. I was thinking Kirk, Kirk Douglas. Kirk, Kirk, because Kirk, because Kirk, Kirk, yeah, no, no, wait, which one's which? Michael's the son that played. Michael's the son that actually played. Yellow okay. Oh, Kirk, I'm, th- I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Ant-Man. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Was he Kirk, was cause ego because he, he just yeah. said he was ego. Who was yeah. at the end of the T'Challa? Oh, did he voice episode. ego? Yeah. yeah he oh, was, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, Even though I hated that movie, but that's that's cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, T'Challa was a better Star Lord by like a million than well, Peter Quill. Well, apparently, Peter Quill's useless. It's the whole Guardians of the Galaxy. That was the biggest. Flaw in the, well, I'm getting well funny track. anecdote because I was watching it with a friend and I'm like, it's I'm the like, biggest flaw of those movies. I'm like, I want most of them are useless. One of the questions I was like, okay, so we're we're basically doing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One, right? right? With T'Challa instead, right? And I was like, I wonder if they're going to show in like anything from Infinity War, right. and maybe they're going to show that he wouldn't have screwed up as bad as Peter Quill, <laughs> and then you see that he had somehow talked Thanos out of. Finding the Infinity Stones, snapping his fingers, and he's part of his crew. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God. boy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, major fan fiction. But uh, Chadwick, the late Chadwick Boseman, wasn't it? So yeah. that's uh, you know, I appreciate it for that. And then back to Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Uh, Grim ending. But, but, but Grim that... ending. Grim ending. Yes. I think is was one of the standouts for me. I think in yeah. this. Yeah. How about some things you didn't like? Or we didn't. Like. Oh, I thought we were talking about that already. No, we haven't uh, really got into no. what we didn't like about uh, that episode. Okay, um, I don't think so. I don't know. I think I feel like there wasn't enough there for me to appreciate movie Strange. Uh, like the movie, I, I didn't. The movie wasn't that great. We only saw a little yeah, bit Doctor of Doctor Strange was terrible. The, uh, the film, the actual yeah. film. I like Benedict Cumberbatch, but that movie was bad. Yeah, and then uh, of course uh, we only saw him in Infinity War right. and and um, what was and he's the fine End in Game those. Yeah, and, and he's yeah, fine he's those. fine in those. The Ragnarok, he was there too. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, that's right. I don't think we saw enough of him for me remember. to like care. Yeah. Um, yeah, we still haven't got to see enough of Doctor Strange to really get him in the MCU. Yeah, I think a great idea would have been like to just do like adaptations of the comic and then just say these are alternate universes where stuff happens. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Like, that could have well, worked. It, it would alienate casuals a little. Like, all of a sudden, because, well... With some of the what-if stories like have Fantastic Four in them and... Yeah, true. I think... What bothers me the most about the show as it exists, um, and I think it's all Disney shows, to be honest. I think, you know, you're talking about one of the largest media companies on the planet, and they're afraid to take real risks. Mm. I mean, the Doctor Strange episode was kind of a risk, but I mean, really, it seems like if you want to do What If Justice, they all should have been risky. Yeah. Yeah. They all should have asked complicated questions, because that's the point of What If. What if things happen differently, or what if somebody made a different choice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of these ideas uh, sound Not like what if fan fiction, yeah, the exactly. movie or the show. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say some of the ideas sound like what ifs that you would ask your friends after you just watched a Marvel movie and you guys were drunk or high right, or something, right. and you're just like, dude, what if Peggy Carter became Captain America? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, we should totally write that, like, sell yeah. it to Marvel. What if swap these characters and the rest of the story's still the same? Basically. Yeah, that's basically. Right. Yeah, that was the first Carter episode. Felt like. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, well, um, that was the second episode too. Dude, what if T'Challa was Star Lord? Yeah. I generally I do like the art style and art direction. I I for the most part I like that it's all CGI because it means they can crank out episodes relatively quickly. Mm-hmm. What I don't like and what I think they should probably abandon for season two is when it comes to the close-ups on faces. The lighting is screwed up. It doesn't look right. Um, they probably they, yeah. they probably should at least try to do the lighting for facial stuff more traditional animated style and not whatever they're trying to do because I don't think it works. Yeah. It like pulls me out of it. Every time they they're like have an intimate scene where two people are talking and the lighting's all weird. Oh, the mm-hmm. it just cell sh- their coloring's shaded. all bizarre and it's just bad. Yeah. I think it's almost like they're trying to do something a little more realistic and I would rather yeah. them go a little more artistic because well, the, it I, ain't working. I think they're <laughs> I, don't ha- think, I think the problem is that they're making it like a comic. I mean, that's a nitpick, like they're trying but... to do it like a cell shading sort of thing, but they're Well, that's fine. But they're making but the fact that they're basing the looks on the the actual like actors from the movie i think is where the problem comes in well i think honestly that they're not doing that at all i think it's the opposite i think they're getting lazy when it comes to the close ups of the faces and they're letting the computer do the legwork mm. yeah. instead of telling it what they want it to look like as animators mm-hmm. and maybe that maybe that's a budget thing maybe it's a time thing i don't know but they're letting the computer and the light just sort of happen where it happens based on the how the models look and it ain't working Right. I think they probably should go with something a little more stylistic. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I, w- would I you say, right, would yeah. you say that this episode is the best one out of the four? Because I haven't seen the third one out yet. Out of the three I saw, yeah, I would say it is. There's things about it I didn't like. Um, I like the third episode the most. I, yeah. yeah. I did like the third episode except for the Hulk. <laughs> that made no <laughs> sense to me. Yeah, it was dark. I think if, if, um, if Disney took any kind of a risk, it was on this episode. Yeah. It's not a big well, risk. Because of the ending. Of it's the not ending. a big risk, but it is, It is. A, I guess it's a risk. That, but the biggest risk they're probably willing to take. I don't know. We'll yeah. see as the series continues. The pro- Some of the problems that I had from a storytelling <laughs> standpoint is it seemed like it seemed like it leaned too heavily on these evil entities mm. potentially making him evil instead of him just making bad choices. Even though those choices led to him absorbing these evil entities, it still was just like, what are you trying to say? Because you seem like you're trying to show both sides of it. I, mm. And I didn't. It's like pick one. <laughs> yeah. Pick a lane. And then the battle you know? was cool. The an- the animatic scenes were cool. Yeah. Uh, some of the action sequences yeah. were, were really great. Yeah, I mean, I was I was a little toss up. Some of it ve- felt very Doctor Strangey, and then other felt of it like very perfunctory. But I mean, mm-hmm. I guess there is some of that in Doctor Strange anyway. Mm. But you know, Doctor Strange, you know, there's a reason why Doctor Strange's best run was not actually the original Ditka run. It was actually a little later with uh, oh, no, his names. Is, their names are escaping me. But it was in the seventies. Um, that it's just amazing and and he's it's a it's a it's a it's he's a challenging guy to write for right. he's a challenging character to write for because the early doctor strange is even the ditka stuff i mean it's just so bizarre and out there and, and funky and crazy right and then you know and maybe that's not fair for me to try to tie that into the show but when you see like guys two doctor strangers just blasting each other you're like Boring. <laughs> That's not Doctor Strange. Do I mean, cooler I guess stuff. Summon, I, yeah. a te- summon a tentacle and then like yeah, do something, like... Well, yeah, just make something, it a little yeah. more clever because there right. should be something different going on, which is why I think the finale of the crappy movie worked because that was actually clever. That was more Doctor Strange where he... He kept showing up, and he says, I want to parlay or I want to make a deal or whatever, and it just he caught him in a loop. I mean, mm. that's Doctor Strange. More clever like that. Stuff mm. that is sort of out there and different right? and interesting. but Yeah. I mean, I think I'm more critical of it because I love Doctor Strange. He's one of my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's one Me of my too. favorite Marvel characters. He's, he's up there with, like, probably top five. Do you, do you remember what happened when uh, I bought the movie, Sight Unseen, and then watched it and then showed up to our game day? Yeah, so we, we get together <laughs> on game days with other friends. Right. He had bought the movie that week, showed up with it, showed up with the movie the week of the game. He's like, who wants this? <laughs> and I'm like, I haven't seen it. I'll take it. So I took it. And then that same week. Because I was like, I do not want this movie. And then that I same week, I sold it. I sold it to Zia Records. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. yeah. So, bad. yeah, it did wasn't like great. It, it wasn't um, great. I only thought <laughs> the, I don't think I hated it as much as you did, but I think it was great. I don't think it was that the great. The only parts that I liked was, like, the final act where they're fighting in Hong Kong, I believe. And that's when Damaru gets summoned. That's yeah. Um, I didn't like how cape was its own sentient thing i don't think that was it yeah that i mean his cape 
did sort of have a mind of its own, but not to that level. It wasn't like it's it wasn't like a cute Disney character like it seemed to be in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was, it did have kind of a mind of its and own. I like that. Cape, I don't and want any tea. Yeah, and then yeah. the cape's all dejected. And I did like the beginning and the opening setup and how they established that Stephen Strange was kind of a douchebag. He was. And yeah, um, absolutely, he's was. a jerk. Yeah, yeah. He was and an arrogant surgeon. <laughs> that was they, his whole deal. They go over the struggle of him trying to learn magic, which. But they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> that was the thing. <laughs> it was like, they I, I don't know. It like, I like the training montage. It's just that they don't yeah. really show him doing the stuff that they're teaching him. Right. Like, right. there was the whole segment they're where... They're using a ring. <laughs> yeah, there was the whole segment where um the, the Ancient One, you know, puts Strange in that psychedelic um scene where, like, ev- everything's all trippy and he's like... Matrixy? Yeah. Or... Uh, or uh, I thought the fights were... Memento-y? No, mm-hmm. not memento uh but it's basically inceptiony. Oh yeah, inceptiony. <laughs> it's basically it's basically like um, the, it's the scene where Strange like, did you put drugs in that drink? Right. Because, ba- because basically, I thought the fights, like the main fights of the movie, were gonna be like that, all you know, trippy. Yeah. Not, not wow, they're fighting. So exciting. <laughs> punch, right. punch. Knife, I think knife. we're we're getting we're getting topic. away yeah, from yeah. the what if we're talking about the movie now. That that yeah, could yeah. probably be in a whole episode yeah, of yeah, on its own. Um, so, I mean. It is very fan fictiony of a show. I, I think this one was better. Better. It's getting better. Hopefully, it, it gets a more lot more. More episodes like this. It gets better than this. Yeah. But this is so far one of the better episodes. Yeah, the Avengers one is good. Yes, that I had. A, I did have a couple problems with it, but besides that, like I, I thought it was passable. Like I said, it was probably one of the better written ones. Oh yeah, especially like, the love story with him and his yeah yeah dead girlfriend. Yeah, and I did get the feeling that. And this is probably over, like I said, they, it's like the show couldn't make up its mind whether he was the, the under the influence of these evil entities or he was making bad choices. It, like, couldn't make up its mind. I'm wondering if that was more studio-driven or whether that was that intentional. I don't know. Right, like, we can't make him become yeah, evil. Yeah. Like, he has to be – well, he has yeah. to become evil. He can't, like, make bad choices and be, yeah, and be evil. Yeah, it was suggesting that it wasn't just his bad choices that made him do this, which – Thankfully, I think it still played out that way, mm. but it was suggested like maybe it wasn't, but he still made those bad choices. Right. Yeah. Even when they combined, the two Doctor Stranges combined, he still made the bad choice. Yeah. Yes. I, so honestly, I appreciate that. that yeah, I did appreciate that. That surprised me. Like right. I thought the good Strange was obviously going to come out on top and right. the universe would continue to exist. It did not. It did not. No. He, was a, he <laughs> no. absorbed the good Doctor Strange and then eventually ended up destroying right. that entire universe. He, yep. The Watcher was a little more involved in this episode, at least more right. so than any of the episodes I've seen already. Yeah. Um, but basically, yeah, he was just like, nah, I can't really do anything, so all I can do is watch. Ooh, all I can do is watch. So yep. if you- <laughs> That's what he says. I can watch. <laughs> so if you are interested He's in He's trying to if, hide baby oil behind him. All um, I can do is watch. Especially these early issues. I mean, they're just fantastic. Um, there's a lot of really good stuff in here. I mean, if you can see the back, I mean, just... They kind of read, read some of those what yeah, ifs. They've they got them on the cover, they right? They say kind of what's going on. What if Spider Man joined the Fantastic Four, which is a spin on the very first issue of Amazing Spider Man? Mm-hmm. What if, man, I can't even read some of these. They're so small. What if, uh, I got them young and eyes. You want me to look? Yeah, you better. Here, hold on. Man, I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Never mind. Yeah, it's too small. Oh, no, uh, what, if, what if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner? And that was probably before Professor Hulk came out as a personality. Yeah. You got to remember, these are yeah. 76, 77. Right. I know, like I know the Jane Foster Thor originated in What If. Right, right, yeah, right here. What too. if Jane Foster had found the hammer of Thor? Right. So, yeah, you can get some. You can get in on some of that. Right. Uh, let's see. What if Spider-Man had never become a crime fighter? Right. Oh. Like Uncle Ben never died, basically. Yeah. What oh, if, yeah. I what if Doctor Doom had become a hero? Hell, yeah. Doctor Doom is a hero. What are you talking about? He's a hero of Latveria. He's a hero of Latveria. That's right. <laughs> he feeds and clothes us. <laughs> <laughs> he takes good care of us. He does take good care yeah, of us. He people. does. Come he on. does take good care of us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's anyway. some classic good stuff. All right. Uh, so the show. Are, are we grading? Let, let's grade this. Are we grading the show? Are we grading the episode? Are I, we doing both? I say we can do both. Okay. All right. What do you want to grade first? Now, the season's not over. There's apparently one more episode, right? Two I more. don't know. Two more episodes? There's going to be, I think, uh, well, then let's what, what if Gamora was more like Thanos, and there's going to be the Marvel Zombies episode, because that's the one everyone's excited for. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm suddenly not excited for either of those episodes. Um, By the way, Howard the Duck was in, uh, he's one of my other favorite Marvel characters. Yeah. Har- Howard the oh, Duck the was origi- in the, he's in the T'Challa episode. Yeah. Because he's with the Collector, obviously. Listen to me. 
out there in YouTube land. If you have never read Howard the Duck comic from the 70s oh by Steve God. Gerber, a Las yes. Vegas local, rest in peace. If you've never read the original Howard the Duck and all you know is the movie and the crappy Sean, what's his name? Green, whatever. Seth Green. Seth Green, Seth Green cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> You owe it to yourself <laughs> you didn't like to Seth read. Green as, you know I, what? I, I just didn't care. You know I have nothing yeah, against I, I, Seth Green. I, I'm sorry, right, I'm right sorry there. Seth Green. I have I'm nothing right against you. you. I think, I, yeah. But whatever. read that original comic. Yeah. It, it is effing genius. It really you know, is. Beca- I'm happy it really it, is. because of this. This is the third number one of one of my favorite nice. Marvel characters that I have. I have Black Panther number one. I have Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Yeah. I have Omac number one as well. Omac. Nice. Yeah. So, um, but yes, you owe it to yourself. Yeah, I mean, if like, you think you know Howard the Duck and you've never read the original comic book, I <laughs> promise you it will blow your freaking... I mean, I the original it. comic. I yeah, like the, the George Lucas comic. movie a bit. But yeah, but it's nothing like... I mean, he missed... So I it, mean, is it? I think it's okay for what it is, but it's not Howard the Duck. Okay, so it's... it's Howard it's, the Duck is a, it is a satirical take on modern culture. Oh, okay. And it's and it's very smart, like so very smart. It's mm-hmm. different from the source material as much as Conan, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, is different from <laughs> the book, and Batman, yes. e- Batman eighty nine is different from the comics. Yeah, it's, so it's he's, very. I different. know he's more cartoonish in like the the modern runs, and like even in in, in this yeah, sort of Marvel like Peter cinematic Porker. universe. Yeah, yeah, Peter Porker but, turned into but a Looney Tunes. Definitely, like the Steve Gerber run is like satirical. Yeah, it's really oh, it's very, very which it's very I didn't good. think is nothing. I don't think is anything Marvel has. And I've gone into ever again. Has and I it? believe issue number one of Howard the Duck, maybe issue number two, is the first appearance of Bessie the Hell Cow, which is the vampiric cow in the Marvel Universe. What the hell? I think that's the second issue. Is it issue two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Dracula was desperate and he had to feed on a cow. And the cow came back. <laughs> Bessie the Hell Cow. Unfortunately, she died. Rest in peace, Bessie. The same time Dracula did in the Marvel Universe when Doctor oh, yeah, Strange d- banished all vampires. I, I Dracula was <laughs> pouring one out for Dracula. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, oh, I thought, I thought I no. heard it I was like, oh. Well, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. Tony would clean it up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, you're the guy in charge around here. Yeah, right. Does the guy in charge have to clean? No. Uh, no all right. So we're, we're grading what? What are we grading? We're we grading the show? We're we grading this episode? Each episode? Let's just do, yeah, let's just grade the episodes we saw. So it'll be a partial. Sure. Partial. Okay. Let's start with episode number I, I one. Captain, I an episode, so. Captain Carter. Uh, I can flat out, flat out tell you I'll give it a half star. The, uh, the fan fiction uh, thing did uh, not work for me. Out of four? Yeah. I'll half star. It, it did not work for me. One and a half star just because, for one thing, it, it looked pretty at least. And second, I liked Hydra Smasher a lot. I wish the episode nope. would focus a little <laughs> bit more on him instead of just oh peggy gets the spotlight 100% most of the time proto iron man i don't want skin- proto iron man is when i turned it off i don't want skinny captain I, america hydra smasher was like nope well I'm they done. have to do Click. something with steve no, no, rogers no, obviously, instead no, of obviously, him being obviously. shot and you know what would have been more interesting if peggy just had one and nothing to do with him <laughs> that would have been more interesting yeah cuz why yeah. she wasn't him listen she was, she was her she started shield you can't tell me she wasn't more shrewd Steve Rogers is Ned Stark. Ned Stark died because he could not abandon his arm honor, yeah. right? Peggy Carter was not that person, nor would oh, she have she been that what, super she knew soldier. What she had to do. She would have been a lot nastier, yeah. and that's anyway. Half a star. Oh, I'm getting off track. Again. Okay, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> what about you, Tony? Oh, about he said one and a half, right? Yeah, one and a half. One and a half. Okay. I, came I, I would episode give two. It, I didn't. Oh, did you? I would give. Oh, you no, I didn't say that. I would oh, give it. I didn't see the third one. Yeah, I would give it one star. I thought the art was great. I thought a lot of the action sequences were cool. Yeah. Obviously, the kind of action sequences you can only do with animation. <laughs> Animated, yeah. That yep. It won't cost you a billion dollars right. to do. Which in turn made Peggy more overpowered than Steve. It, it kind of like kind of like the kind of like the Witcher. Yeah. Kind of like the Witcher. Yeah. I will say <laughs> I was intrigued by the idea. I do love Haley Atwell. As I do Peggy love her. Carter. Yes. I, I think she was great. Her. I watched the series. Her like six episode miniseries. Yeah. That's uh, what that was great. Agent Carter. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Um, and so like the idea is like cool. I, I just think I just think they they base the story a lot around some random person's deviant art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right? Yeah. It was like, fan look, fiction. Guys, yeah. yeah. Look, guys, I drew Peggy Carter as Captain America. Is your mind blown? You're welcome, deviant art. <laughs> You're welcome, Tumblr. And right. someone was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna write an episode oh, about God. this." Oh God. So I will give, give it one oh, star. Give it one star. I think. Well, yeah. I think the fact that Haley Atwell came yeah, back I do to love voice her, yeah. as uh, uh, Peggy Carter was great. 
I do love her. Uh, okay, episode number two. I'm gonna have to sit this one out. I have not seen it. Okay. All right. What do you? Fan think? fiction version uh, two. This point one's <laughs> this one's so hard for me. Yeah. Um. Again, I'm a huge fan of Black Panther. This sort of idea where everything just kind of goes like <laughs> fantastic for T'Challa, and it's like, this is cool, but at the same time, it's like, where's the conflict here? There is like no conflict, there is no danger, there is no risk. Nothing bad's going to happen to him. Civil and war, guess what? Civil hap- war was the yeah. only adversity that T'Challa yeah. faced ever. Yeah. No, there was no civil war. At least <laughs> no, not one that he the, was in the movies. Oh, yeah. in the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, for sure, there was a part of me that was like, okay, T'Challa freaking rules, right? And then mm. there was that other part of me, again, that was like, well, there's no conflict to this story. This is, again, fan fiction. another fan fiction yeah. that really had no sense of danger. It had mm. no real weight. It had no real gravitas. There was not a lot of, there was no, like, there was no risk involved in this for storytelling wise. Mm-hmm. Like, it was. It all just sort of fell into place. Again, he somehow talked Thanos out of finding the Infinity Stones and Thanos snapping half the population out of existence. Nope. And he joined his crew. <laughs> yes. The wrecking crew. Yeah, like, it was insane. So I'm going to sit this out as a fan and just look at this more analytically. Critical analytic. More critically Crit- analytic. Uh, half a analysis. star. Yeah. Half a star. Uh, there was not a lot here that excited me besides the idea of T'Challa being a rockin' Star Lord. A better Star Lord than Yeah, Star-Lord. this guy like uh, garnered w- galactic peace as Star Lord, <laughs> and all this other idiot did was dance around in tombs <laughs> right. telling yeah. people my name's Star Lord. And it was like, who the hell are you? Yeah. Like, come on, Star Lord? How say you, Tony? Uh, I give that one two and a half stars. Just two and a half? Just, just because it's well. It's a dumb episode. The story is dumb, <laughs> and that's why I enjoy it. You were enchanted by it, cl- yeah. clearly. I get, but that was me, too. That was like my fan. You were enchanted And, of by course, it. the fact that Chadwick yeah, Boseman's Chad with us. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was his last Marvel thing, which is very sad. Yeah. I thought he was an awesome yeah. Black Panther. He was. Um, and I do like the cynical ending where, like, yeah, the most of the universe is saved except for Earth because Ego got to Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who was working at a Dairy Queen. Nice. Mopping at a Dairy Queen. That's exactly where yeah. he belongs. <laughs> he's a terrible character as conceived in the films. <laughs> he was good at first. I think in the first movie he was good. And then as it continues, like, okay. That second movie. He God just turned. Dang, he turned they were in, all so worthless. He turned into a lean Andy Dwyer. Yeah, they were all so yeah. worthless. Uh, and in and in, 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 uh, Infin- uh, Infinity War, they were all so worthless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Day. Yeah, I, I would Except give for that, Rocket. I would give and Groot because he made Stormbringer's mm-hmm. handle. Anyway, St- Stormbringer. Go ahead. You Sorry. know what? I think I'm going to give it a star. I think I'll give it a star. I'll give it a star because of Chadwick Boseman. All right, episode three. What oh. if I sat that one Avengers, out? So I will sit this up. We're not the Avengers that we knew. <laughs> I is that what it is? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Basically, what if all the Avengers were systematically killed off one by one before they could assemble? Assemble. Yeah. Okay. I Which give... isn't exactly true, but. Yeah. Well, I give that one 3.5 stars because that yeah. one just, I, I enjoyed that one a lot just because, well, the only thing that prevents it from being a fire for is like, it should have just ended with, oh, Loki just takes over his earth. There. And yeah, it, I did. It, I did like the end of it. Like, basically, he makes a deal with Nick Fury. And then after everything's said and done, uh, <laughs> Loki backs Loki's up. just like, you know what? Yeah. I think we're going to hang out for a while. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Did Tom Hiddleston um, come back as Loki? I'm going to, yeah. Okay. Cool. It sounded like him. Yeah. I assume it was. He's, st- he's still Loki because I'm pretty sure. Just I'm going to give that one three. And it's it, thanks it, to it, him. I it, like calling people dull creatures. It, yeah. It loses at least a half of a star because I probably would have given that one a four simply because of the Hulk's demise. <laughs> it was so dumb. It goes against everything we know about the Hulk. Mm. <laughs> and honestly, leaving the Hulk alive would have just benefited uh, <laughs> Hank, Pym's, Hank Pym's whole plot. Yeah. I mean, the Hulk on a rampage just benefits his whole thing. Right. So it was just like, it didn't make sense. It goes against everything we know who, who the Hulk is. But other than that, it was a fantastic episode. So three stars. Is yeah, that three, three stars. Three stars? Yeah. What about you, Tony? Did you I might have given it four had 2.5. the Hulk not. Three and a half. All oh, right, three and a half. Three and a half stars. Okay. Right. Cool. Last one, uh, the uh, the Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange episode. episode. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think it's very so. It's not as dynamic, I would say, as the action-packed first episode or the complete and total like, what would you call it, 
feast for the eyes that was T'Challa as Star Lord. <laughs> um, that was definitely that was definitely more fan fiction than the first episode. Yeah. Um, it, it's not as dynamic or as action packed, but I think there's a solid story there. I think if they stuck to their guns a little more, it could have been a lot right. better. I love. It seems like there was too many shortcuts. Yeah, I love the dark ending. Yeah, um, I did like that. So, and th- I think that of all the episodes, this is probably like the biggest risk. Uh, again, I haven't seen the third one. This is probably like the riskiest thing and the darkest thing that Disney's iteration of Marvel has done. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and give this. I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give this one three stars. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one three stars. As someone who's not too familiar with the Doctor Strange comics, and at the same time, I was a bit impressed that this did more than this took more risks than the Doctor Strange movie did, basically. Yeah, that's like, for sure. <laughs> so that I, I'll give it three. Yeah, I I think I have to go two and a half, only because I only watched it about five hours ago, and there's something off about it that hasn't quite. I guess I haven't really. Mm got a hold of yet intellectual sure. from an intellectual level because I'm not that smart. He's not wearing um, his yellow there, gloves. There, there's, yeah, he's not wearing <laughs> his yellow gloves. No, there's something about it that just doesn't feel right. And I, I I, feel like there's things about it I loved, obviously, we talked about, but it just there's something off about it. It seemed like certain aspects of the story took shortcuts or maybe homogenized certain aspects of the story. Sure. yeah. And maybe that's all it is. I don't know. Maybe my head will wrap around it. But there's something about it that bothered me. So for that, I'm I'm sitting at two and a half. I did like the ending, though. I liked that it didn't cop out on the ending. That, yes. that part was fantastic. That's the best way okay. to end a what if. <laughs> yeah, that is that is the best way to end a what if. Even the Avengers what if was good because it was still, it was it was more positive, but it was positive in the right way. Like it made sense that those things happened at the end, which I think you disagreed with, but that's okay. Yeah. But anyway, so okay. that's where I'm going at. Cool. All right, so like I don't know, I, I I'm not sure how this series is gonna go. I know right, there's two more there's, episodes. There's plans for a second season already yeah. that I've heard of. So so the last two episodes are Gamora, which I don't care about, and Marvel Zombies, which I really don't care about. I'm only ex- excited for Marvel Zombies, but <sighs> I'm afraid I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna be a neutered version where we can't it show is. a zombie getting shot in the you head know? or cut apart. It is. It's on a, It's on Disney Plus. I do have Marvel Zombies number one signed by Robert Kirk. By Robert Kirk. Really? It was a. It was a birthday present and i never cared for that comic so well then sell it you'll probably get like probably. a bunch of money from it sell it if anyone out there is interested in comes out that. Yeah. how many spawn number ones are you willing to trade I mean, that for it's a very yeah it's a very thoughtful cuz i've got present. a bunch of spawn number ones yeah. todd mcfarlane all right yeah i remember they my family said figure. he likes zombies and he likes marvel comics he must love Marvel zombies, not really, but that's it was still thoughtful. Sure, <laughs> what a connection, right? Yeah, like yeah. he likes Marvel, he likes zombies. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Marvel zombies, Marvel zombies. Yeah, yeah. when it first spread. That's so, okay. Yeah, go. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I was old and jaded when it came out. I was, <laughs> and now I'm just more older and jaded or jaded. I was in middle school when I first read it because it was out of school library for yeah. some reason. All right, we're running really long. Anything yeah. else before right. we get out of here? Uh, no. Anyone have anything to plug? Oh, uh. I occasionally show up in the show uh, Toku Titan Cast, who are yeah. currently uh, watching the Gundam movies, the one on Netflix right now, and in another website. That have they been. watched Stardust Memory? Stardust Me- Oh, no. That, not, that one's one of my favorites. We haven't gotten to the JoJo's yet. We're, right <laughs> now, we're in the Gundam phase. No, 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 no. That's The JoJo's one is Stardust Crusaders. There is a Star- there's a Gundam Stardust Memory. Oh, ah, uh, God. No, uh, no. Is that uh, with the... Eh, never mind. We're go- we're we'll I might be another, wrong. Now that we're I'm thinking about it, yeah. Anyway, right now, right now we're in the Universal timeline. All oh, right. okay. Um, T public slash Go Fenris for some T-shirts. Uh, I don't have anything to like plug per se. I'm not working on any sort of projects, but um, uh, where what am I going to do? Oh, um, <laughs> so next Saturday I uh, am going to be at uh, Metro Pizza. Getting lunch. Buy me a slice. So please. if come so if you me. if you recognize me, please please come say hi with a slice of pizza for me, there and you go. I'll appreciate it. So I don't have to buy it. Can I get a free slice? Yeah, Tony will be there, so Tony, you can Tony buy Tony a slice. Yeah, Tony with, with special guest Tony. <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, it's I got done. no projects going on. All right. All right. Uh, do watch JoJo. I just started watching it, and it's the greatest thing ever. And I know I'm late to the party, but if you haven't watched it yet, do give it a chance. It's so stupid. Tom of Finland. Tom of... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. All right. All right good, good night, everybody. Good night. I'm going to... Uh, yep. <laughs>